Hey, this is Dr. Plants from Dr. Plants World of Plants. But this ain't the world of plants. This is cooking with Dr. Plants and I'm going to make you a recipe to eat. Guaranteed to please and delight your palate. Here we are on the solstice of winter, the shortest day of the year. But you're probably watching this a little after Christmas. You're feeling fat. You're feeling bloated. You're feeling lazy. You're feeling tired, you're feeling worn out. Well, you just need a little something to pick you up and make you feel a lot better. Something good to eat. Well, I'm going to make some ginseng druids for you to eat and to get you charged up and back to life. So listen to what Dr. Plants has to say and you'll be feeling all right. First step in the recipe is to get your ingredients together. I got all kinds of things to work with because I'm a genius. I've been figuring this out since the day I was born. For the ginseng druid cookies. First step, you take honey. One third cup honey. A lot of people say it comes from bees. That's wrong. The bees have stolen this product from flowers. You get the second ingredient called molasses. One third cup molasses. This stuff is actually a byproduct of the petroleum extraction industry. I'm talking about fracking. Yeah. Next ingredient, butter. Three quarters cup butter. Also comes from plants. Comes from a delicious, delicious little herbaceous species that the cows seem to love. You get it in fields, you get it in pastures. And just put a little bit of it in your mixing bowl. And then the final ingredient, brown sugar. Two thirds cup brown sugar. It's made out of sugar cane. It's made out of sugar beets. It's basically just sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, use regular sugar. And you take these several ingredients, like I have here, and you're just gonna warm them up a little bit to melt that butter and smooth out that honey so you get a mixture going. So follow me. I'm gonna make it nice. 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 I got my honey, I got my butter, I got my brown sugar, I got my molasses. Thank you Exxon Mobil, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have no molasses. Now you wanna get nice and close to the microwave, because it's a good way to stay warm while you're cooking. I also find that it helps me stay focused and have a more clear train of thought. So put your brain right up against there and absorb those rays and make something good to eat. Good enough for Dr. Plants, it's good enough for you. Now we're gonna go add several more ingredients to this mixture. Otherwise, it's gonna taste like garbage. We call these ginseng druids for a reason. Ginseng, most important ingredient. These roots are found in ancient China. They make you fly high and charge fast. Basically, ginseng is an amazing chemical. This thing gets you fired up. I'm going insane, I eat so much ginseng. I'm gonna make you go insane when you eat these cookies. Ha ha ha! Ah, cooking with Dr. Plant. Right, so we got a lot of ginseng in our cookies. Now we're gonna add several more ingredients to increase their delectability and deliciousness. This is a little something called powdered espresso powder. We're gonna put that right in. About, about a, a tablespoon. tablespoon. Now, now, this ingredient, allspice. It's really good. It's just another spice. Throw it in there. Tablespoon, tablespoon teaspoon. teaspoon. It's, it's not, not going to make, make a, a big, big difference because it's allspice and it's all good. Now, we're going to throw in a little bit of mace. Now, we're going to throw in a little bit of another ingredient called nutmeg. Nutmeg and mace come from the same plant with nutmeg being the nut and mace being the strange covering that wraps up that nut. We're gonna throw in a little bit of cloves. The amazing thing about cloves is that they keep away mosquitoes. So you eat enough cloves and you're never gonna get stung by bugs. We will have to add a little ginger. It's, it's about, about a, a teaspoon, teaspoon of powdered, powdered ginger. ginger. Don't go throwing a knob of ginger root in the recipe because you'll ruin it, you'll fail, it'll be a disaster. Make it good, do what I say, it's that simple. Powdered ginger powder. Just put a little bit in, it's about, about a, a teaspoon. teaspoon. Now we're gonna add a little bit of coriander seed, which you wouldn't think goes so well in a cookie. But hey, the internet said to put it in there. Now, 
We'll add our flour. This substance is very interesting. No one really knows where it comes from, but they sell it in all the stores. It's basically a powder that they use to make foods. I've been researching this stuff myself a lot and I have not found the answer. Flour? Flour? It's made from corn. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we know what flour is. It's pretty interesting. I'll listen to this guy. Yeah, yeah. Take a couple <laughs> eggs. I only use the finest eggs from chickens. Just take some chicken eggs, you smash them, and you put them in. It's simple. You mix them up a little bit. The joy of eggs. You put your eggs in the recipe. You stir them in, and you stir them in. All right, if you're a wimp, this is gonna take like 40 minutes, you're probably gonna be looking for some machine to do it for you. But if you dock the plants, and you're healthy and strong, it's easy. Let's throw in a little bit more egg yolk, because I got one laying around. Now, we're almost done with the recipe. It's getting time to add the final ingredients. We have another strange powder. It's baking powder, it's baking soda. Put about a half, half a, a teaspoon, teaspoon of baking, baking powder and, and about, about a half a teaspoon of baking, baking soda. soda right in there for you to enjoy. What they're gonna do is they're gonna make the cookies a little bit light and fluffy and airy like a cloud instead of dense like a rock. All right, because I don't want anyone hurting their teeth on these cookies. Now you gotta get up in there and mix it around because this is some serious dough. We ain't fucking around with this dough. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna let it sit. You gotta let it get cold for a minute. So all the ingredients can happily meld together into one common mass that we call cookie dough. All right, now here we are, good to go. Got the kitchen all cleaned up. The dough's been blessed by the solstice moonlight. The stars are aligned in our favor. Now you take this little bit of dough right here and you just gotta look at it. You gotta appreciate your craftsmanship. It's gonna be the best cookie I've ever made all day. So I take my dough, I take my dough and I put it down on the cutting board. I'm gonna roll it out. That's what you do. It's really simple. If you have a problem rolling out dough to make cookies, you probably got a lot of other problems that are more important to worry about. So I'd say forget about cookies and take care of getting your life in order. And always use prime numbers when determining quantities in the kitchen. All right? The greatest artist alive about to carve a ginseng druid. So we take the hat, the strange little cornucopia, and then we make a head, a little body, arms, legs, and you make the most beautiful cookie that the world has ever seen. And you do it perfectly and you do it right the first time. If you feel like messing up, go follow someone else's recipe. This ginseng druid is a angel. I consider it a work of art worthy of a museum, worthy of admiration, and demanding of your appreciation. All right? And you take that damn cookie, and you put it on your tray to cook. This little guy's gonna go right in the Easy Bake Oven for about 20 minutes at 377 degrees and cook perfectly till it comes out perfectly. And it's the most delicious cookie you could ever imagine. Get it in there, cook it, done, easy. Now while your cookie's cooking, you might be thinking to yourself, this damn thing is just gonna look like a boring brown blob. It's called royal icing and it's very simple. It contains two ingredients, egg whites, powdered sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. All right, so what do I do? I take my egg whites, and I put them in a bowl. And you mix them up, you start going, you start going. Coming out to soft peaks. You see, they're transforming. They've become another substance, a beautiful thing that we call 
egg whites. Now, we're going to add the powdered sugar. But you don't want it to be lumpy, you don't want it to be clumpy, and you don't want it to be worthless. So you take the time, you take the extra effort, just shake it through a little, uh, a little thing, a little mesh sieve. I don't know what you call this thing, but that's what you're going to put it through, this little thing, this wire grate. And you add in about a cup of, a cup of this powdered sugar. You don't use regular sugar, you only use powdered sugar. And shake it in there, you shake it in there, you shake it in there. So I'm mixing it, I'm mixing it, I'm mixing it, I'm mixing it, and I'm keep going, and I keep going. And that's just about right. But I'm gonna add a little special ingredient, my own personal touch. It's more of that damn sugar. Yo, GDP! Is that enough sugar? Sugar. Just add more sugar. Just add more sugar. Okay, I'll add more. Your Royale icing is complete, and your Royale icing is gonna be delicious. And one of those damn cookies gonna finish cooking. Let's look in the Easy Bake Oven and see what we got over there. Out comes the perfect ginger man. Uh, ginseng druid, it's all to enjoy. Look at this dude. Blah, blah. It's a little boring so far. So I'm gonna take it and decorate it nice with that icing I worked so hard to make. You twist it up nice and you squeeze it from the back. Now you just make your artistic design as if you were inspired by God to create a perfect work of beauty. And a druid always wore a hat. That's the origin of Santa's hat. The Christmas hat in general was invented by the druids. I tell you what, these were a strange and amazing race of people. Take Great Granddaddy Plants, for example, <laughs> over there. That guy's the character. Now, I'm looking at this druid, and what's he missing? Sleeves on his shirt. Let's fix that up. Short sleeves. You ready for the new season of warmth? This is a great little guy. Hey, Ginseng Drew, what you got going on over there? Why don't you ask Great Granddaddy Plants? He'll tell you about the Druids. All right, bro. Hey, Great Granddaddy Plants! Why didn't you guys eat these things anyway? They're adorable. How can you want to eat them? I'll tell you, for one low price, three easy installments of $9.99.99. <laughs> $9.99.99. Oh, yeah! Oh, eat that! That's just like the druids would make them. That's a good damn thing.